outside, but I live in Oregon, so duh. We are on our way to Hag Lake. I'm hoping that there aren't too many people on the lake, you know, that the rain is keeping people away. But then again, if they're like me and Saturday is the really only day they get, and in my case, the only day I get sometimes, then maybe there will be some people there. One guy who I know for sure is gonna be there is Matt. I'm meeting him over there. We were just on the phone and he lost service, so that means he's close. Uh, we were there, uh, what was it, last week? I went with, went with Troy, went with Ryan, went with my cousin Garrett in the boat. Uh, we catch shit. Uh, that's not true. Garrett caught a trout. But no bass in our boat, so I'm looking to change that today. Uh, hi. Freaking missed you guys. You guys are actually going to be seeing a lot more of me because, well, one, I freaking missed you guys and I love doing the YouTube thing, so I'm trying to get back onto that. But also, I just found out that uh, YouTube demonetized me. Usually when you demonetize a channel, it's for a reason, right? Like, oh, he violated this rule or uh, he's, he's getting canceled for some reason. But the reason I got demonetized was because of my lack of uploading. I didn't know that that was a reason. I thought that once you became a YouTube partner that you were a YouTube partner, but apparently not. I got to upload more and gain uh, watch hours back. So I got to get 3,000 watch hours within the last 365 days, the rolling the rolling 365. So hope you uh, miss this face because you're going to be seeing a lot more of it if you click on the videos. If you don't click on the videos, then you won't. But I hope you do. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, if you guys want to really help me out, you guys can go and watch a bunch of old videos too because that counts also as watch time. So I'm going to be uploading more. I'm also probably going to be going live as well while I'm at work during the week just because I know uh, if you tap into the lives, to the live streams, those also count as watch hours. So I'm going to be doing that as well to try to get back on board. I'm going to change lanes because the white pedal van behind me is all up on my ass and he's changing lanes with me. Anyways, guys, we're going to Hag. We'll meet you there. Uh, if all goes super well and we get into him, a uh, slight chance I might be coming back tomorrow with Troy, too. I tried to get Troy to come out today, but he's being a wiener. Not just playing. He had something to do with his daughter, which totally get it. Wish us luck so that we can come back tomorrow. See you guys at the ramp. Got an orange rooster tail that cousin Garrett was catching them on when we were trolling. So fuck it, if we're gonna troll to the spot, I'm gonna cast out a rooster. All right, we've made it to the lake. We have launched. We are in business. All legal deagle dub. We got the live vests. Got the GoPros. I'm trolling a trolling a rooster tail on the way over to the spot to the blocks which by the way we're fishing the side of hag where i absolutely hate i don't hate but it's the place it's the stretch of shoreline that i've had the least amount of luck ever in my life if i don't catch any fish at least i'll be able to say i was serenaded <laughs> Who would have thought it figures? <laughs> I'm also fishing uh, today with no electronics. Well, no depth finder, no fish finder. So I'm pretty much gonna play baby duck to mama duck, AKA Matt being mama duck, cause he's got the graph. Ay, ay, ay. Where's just luck? I wanna catch a fish today. If I don't catch a bass, I'm trolling for trout. We can't. Get the pad right on top of it. Ooh. What I want to know is how the fuck am I throwing a jerk bait with three goddamn double hooks 
And I still fucking miss it. <laughs> just like my ex girlfriend, bro. They, they just kissing the tip. Damn, son. There it is. Oh my gosh. Take forever. Woo! Holy shit. Holy shit. Hey, you missed your boat. I know. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> it can be taught. Oh my gosh. Check it out, boys. That's a solid fish right there. First bass of the year. I get you know I don't I, man I don't know how I feel about this camera quality hold on one second yeah that's what I'm talking about got some of that uh, so delicious uh, camera going on hands free too bitch bro this feels like an old PDX fishing video you know what I gotta change my clothes dude this is an old PDX fishing video I gotta wear some old PDX fishing it's not official PDX fishing gear actually but it's what I used to wear in some old videos hold on one second Uno momento, por favor, senor. We at Hag Lake, round two. We kind of figured them out yesterday. We got my man Boneyard Bass in behind the camera today. I gotta stop cussing because that's how excited I am. B-roll maybe? Becking on the ramp maybe? I don't know. But game plan is totally different from what we did yesterday. Yesterday, me and Matt were out here trying to get the soft plastic kind of uh, slow bait. But turns out after getting dumped on all day they want reaction bites so we got a couple crankbaits tied on i got one i got a spinner bait i don't know how that's gonna do i'm gonna start off throwing the crank i think boneyard is as well so yeah let's get on the water baby blue steel There we go. Got him. a little one but I'll take it you know what I mean For real. there it is baby little fish but hey my first of the day on the crank so can't be that bad to get that release baby <laughs> yeah uh, 
So that's how you think you figured out Hag Lake. And in, in all reality, you have no idea what you're doing. Me and Troy went out there the second day and it was just not at all what I thought it was gonna be. Cause I was just there the day before, so. You know, took us all day the day before me and Troy got there to figure out they were on, holding on this one point and they wanted crankbaits. And that's the first thing me and Troy did. When we got there, we zoomed right over to that point and started throwing crankbaits. The same exact crankbaits I was throwing yesterday and not a single bite. They had just pushed on, went somewhere else. I wonder if it was like trout fishermen on that bank that might have spooked them off or it could have it could have been a multitude of things. It could have been anything. It could have been it wasn't raining in that morning and the day before we were catching them we were getting dumped on. It could have been the barometric pitch. I don't know. They weren't there though. We went to plan B and we didn't really have a plan B. It just meant uh try to figure them out. So that's what we did. We just started hitting the banks and that's why it's such a short video because I only caught one fish that day too. I was thinking about making two videos, two different hag videos, but I didn't like I only caught one fish each day, so I just turned it into one video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Slowly but surely, we're making our way back out here. Uh, I'm gonna be filming a lot more, you guys. I'm gonna be out here doing the thing. I actually have another video in the works. I went to the I went to the Willamette with Shane, and we uh, did pretty good stretching some smallmouth lip out there. So stay tuned for that video. I hope you guys stay tuned. Also, I hope you guys are ready. I'm gonna be going live here probably at work probably from this angle that you're seeing me right now or maybe one over here where my phone is I'm not sure the reason why I kind of fell off is just because of the time factor you know having two kids having a now full-time job that I'm trying to not you know neglect and be responsible at uh, also the podcast I don't know if you guys are aware of uh, I have a podcast called the go deeper podcast uh, sometimes it's fishing related. It's not always fishing related. Sometimes I bring bands on or whatever. But either way, it's pretty funny. It's a, it's a pretty much like a storytelling podcast. So if you guys want to go check it out, mind you, it's like not for kids. We use outdoor language. It's like I guess not outdoor locker room language. I guess you know what I mean. So maybe if you're sensitive to bad words, it might not be for you. But if you want to check it out, go ahead. The Go Deeper podcast on all pod, on all podcast uh, streaming platforms. Yeah, stay tuned guys. I'm trying to get monetized again, so you're gonna see a lot of PDX fishing videos. You guys hit me up in the comments. Follow me on Instagram too, PDX underscore official. But hit me up, let's go fishing. I'm down to, you know, collab and meet new people and you know go fishing. So that's what I'm out here trying to do. I've actually made some of my best friends through YouTube and through my fishing Instagram. So but yeah, I think that's all I got today for you guys. Uh I hope you enjoyed this video. Um hit the notify bell uh next to the subscribe button if you haven't pushed that as well push that and uh yeah you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this ugly face so i hope you like it take care of yourselves take care of each other tight lines baby i'll see y'all next time